Let's see if this sounds familiar. You've got a college degree and you're not using it for what you went to school for. You took out all these student loans, have all this debt, and with the job that you have, you don't even use it. I know I'm not the only one that can relate to this. In fact, today we're going to meet a guy that went to law school. And guess what? He's not working at some huge law firm trying to become partner. He didn't open up his own law practice. In fact, no, he went in a complete opposite direction and started an online business. In fact, his online business right now is making more than $5,000 per day. Interesting, right? All right, I know you wanna find out more about who this guy is and his journey. We're gonna do that right now. What's up y'all, welcome back to the Make 1K series. So this is the series where I'm highlighting successful entrepreneurs, but we're not gonna find out about how amazing they are right now and how much money they're making right now. No, we wanna find out their backstory. We wanna find out how they got started. We wanna find out who inspired them, who are the mentors that helped them overcome the obstacles when it comes to achieving success and not just starting a business, but pushing through all the junk to achieve that massive success that they've had. All right, today you're gonna to meet Mike Yonda. So Mike Yonda did go to law school. He did get his law degree and then realized that that's not what he wants to do. So he started an online fitness business. That online fitness business led to him forming his own Facebook ad digital agency. From there, he partnered with an old high school friend and formed Laptop Empires, and they created a course to show people how to start Facebook ads for small business owners. So he's got a lot going on. Today, we're gonna learn more about his digital agency that focuses on Facebook ads for small businesses because it's pretty crazy how much money you can make if you land one client, just one client, and that's a story that Mike shares today. Hey Jeff, thank you so much for having me on the show today. I really love what you're doing at Wealth Hacker because I feel like you share the same mission that we have at Laptop Empires and that's showing people that this is the greatest time in history to make money using the internet. And if you've got a few spare hours every day that you can devote to creating something for yourself, it can potentially change your life. And I'm especially excited today because we're going to be talking about what I believe to be the most profitable side hustle out there right now. And it's how I started making, well, it's the second way I started making money online, but it's turned into my main business and into a thriving business. But it's something anybody can start and, and you can go and make a thousand dollars a month right out of the gate doing this. So really excited to dive in today. Thanks again for having me. So I actually own a marketing agency that specializes in managing Facebook ads for other businesses. So we use we work with a variety of businesses, but they can really be broken down into two categories. There's the local brick and mortar businesses that we're trying to help them put their offers in front of people in their area and get them more customers through the door. And then we have the online businesses, kind of like your business, you know, it's the content creators, the bloggers, the people that have courses, programs, coaching, consulting, those sorts of things, and just helping them grow their audience and their influence so that they can make more sales. And the great thing about this job is that it's really just half my job. The other half of my job is that I've been a stay-at-home dad since day one of starting this business. It's something that you can do from home on your computer. And although you can grow it into a big agency the way that I did and have a team and have tons of clients, it's something that you can do in your spare time and make really great money in only a couple hours per week. And so I've done this the entire time staying home with both both of my boys, ages one and three, since my oldest was born. Like that's, you know, I've been home with him, building this business, playing Legos and all the things, you know, that come with being a stay-at-home dad. Now my business currently follows an agency model. I have multiple team members that help with service delivery, reporting, you know, managing the clients and all of the things that we do. And I'm at the top, just kind of working with the clients, developing strategy, you know, and helping with that. But the day-to-day -day can really run without me. But you don't have to follow this model. You don't have to have a ton of clients. What's really great about this business is that, you know, the going rate for this service for a single client, especially at the local brick and mortar level, is about $1,500 per month. So you can land one client providing these services and get $1,500 every month, month after month, to manage these simple Facebook ad campaigns for them. And I always tell people, if you can, you know, manage a spreadsheet or you can create a, you know, a status update on Facebook, then you can manage Facebook ads in this way. It's really not difficult. And the best thing about it is that it's, it's one of those things you create the ad, you get it figured out. And then once it's running, you just let it sit 
And so it's very passive in the sense that you might be checking to make sure performance is good every day, but you're not actually having to go in and do work for those clients every single day. But you're still gonna get paid because it's a really valuable service that allows them to make a lot more money and it's taking something off their plate. It's taking this marketing work that they don't know how to do, that they don't have the time to do, they don't wanna learn how to do, you're taking it off through their plate and doing it for them. And so you can have a bunch of clients in the way that I do and you can build a team, or if you are like me, you're a stay-at-home parent, but maybe you just want to, you know, put in some work during nap time or in the evening after the kids go to bed, you can totally do that and you could get three, four clients paying you $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 per month and make a really incredible living doing this with a really minimal workload. You know, this is such a funny question because I don't actually know what inspired me to start an online business. I can't remember exactly what prompted it. I think I just saw an opportunity and I took it. And so my online business journey actually started with my first business, which was an online fitness coaching business. And I started this years ago when I was still in law school. And so what happened is I was kind of overweight and I started working out, started eating right, lost weight, got in great shape. I had a six pack back then. Now I'm back to kind of having a keg again, but back then I was in really great shape. I started having people asking me, you know, hey, how'd you do it? Can you help me? And I was giving people advice and I saw this opportunity there was this website at the time called Photocracy. It might still be around, I don't know, but it was like Facebook for fitness and they were putting out these really affordable coaching programs and I took one, I thought it was really cool. They were looking for new coaches and I was like, I can do this, I know this stuff. And so I created a program and these programs, we would have 100, 150 people at a time that were going through these fit fitness programs for 12 weeks or whatever it was and it was just a support community and it was providing you know uh, motivation and advice and giving them their basic diet plan and their workout plans and just encouraging people and motivating people and that was how I got my start and I was making good money with that but I didn't want to be reliant on another website I wanted to build my own brand but I was in law school and law school in case you haven't heard kind of sucks. <laughs> like it's really brutal. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of studying. And so I didn't have the time to go and, you know, create a blog and do all of the things that these fitness bloggers and these online fitness coaches were doing. Like I just couldn't fit that into my schedule. Um, and even though I wanted to make money, you know, online from this business to help pay for these student loans, I had so many student loans, um, you know, and I wanted to make that extra money. I just, I couldn't devote more hours. And so very naively, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to run Facebook ads to get more clients. I'm going to put up an ad saying I have a program and then they're going to give me their email and their phone number. I'm going to talk to them and I'm going to sell to them. And that's what I did and it worked really well and I you know, built a great business and made good money from that. And then all of my friends that were in the fitness industry started knowing and they're like, how on earth is Mike getting all these clients when he doesn't have a fitness blog, he's not active on social media, he's not doing all of the things that we're doing and he's not even one of us. He wasn't a personal trainer, like I was just some rando who lost weight in law school and started helping people. And so when I started showing people this kind of stuff, I was able to say, look, I'm, this is what I'm doing. And then just like with the fitness industry where I was able to say, hey, you know, I can help you lose weight. I know this thing. Give me some money and I'll help you. I was able to start doing the same thing with marketing. I was able to say to these fit pros, I can help you get more clients using Facebook ads. Pay me and I'll take care of it for you. You know, this is a really tough question to answer because I've never really had a mentor in that sense with my online businesses. I've kind of had mentors, but I've been more of a self-study. So the way that I learned was actually going into Facebook groups, going into entrepreneurial communities that you know specialized in things like paid advertising, list building, course creation, um, email copywriting, whatever it is that I wanted to learn about, I would go and become an active part of these communities. I would meet the members. I would see the questions they were asking. I would, you know, watch the free trainings they were putting on in these communities. And then when I could afford it, I started investing in courses. And so I, I feel like the best way to learn from people is to go and take their courses and read their books. I mean, a book is a great way that you can spend $15 
to learn everything that person has to share. Sure, it, it might go deeper, but people put a lot of information in the books. They give you the blueprint. And then if you take a course, you're going to spend a, you know, a couple hundred bucks to really learn exactly how to do something. Courses wouldn't make money and they wouldn't do well if they didn't lay it all out there. They didn't give you the plan, show you how to do it step by step. And so I, you know, coming from this background, right, you know, I went to college and then I went to law school and I studied for the bar exam, became a lawyer, like studying was part of my life. And so when I was building my business, the thing that made the most sense was to get a book or to get a course and to study the same way that I was learning the practice of law and apply that to my business. And that's always worked really well for me. So. I can't sit here and just list out a bunch of people, like list names of people that have mentored me. There's a whole lot of people, you know, I never would have been able to do this for myself and there's a lot of people that deserve recognition, but I definitely don't want to leave anybody out. And so what I would just say is like, if you're wanting to get started, invest in courses, read books, you know, follow the people that, you know, do what you want to do or know the thing that you want to know, get on their email list, right? Consume their newsletters. You know, that's people share their best stuff via email and that's a great way to learn too. So go, you know, put in a little work, do some self study and then actually apply the things you learn. I think that's the biggest mistake people make. They buy a course, they buy a book, they don't implement right? Study the thing and implement it all the way through before you get shiny object syndrome and buy the next thing. I think the biggest obstacle for me starting out was just like charging what my service was worth. I told you earlier that, you know, these Facebook ad services for local businesses, you can charge $1,500 a month. That's kind of the industry standard and people range from a thousand dollars to two grand and some go way above that. But for just basic, like for a mom and pop shop, like running ads for a gym or a chiropractor or a restaurant or a realtor or something in your area or in another area, because fun fact, you know, I have zero clients in Texas. All of my clients are out of state and I've got clients on four continents. So I work with people that are all really far away from me that I can't meet with in person, um, which is kind of cool. But for those kind of brick and mortar businesses, you can charge $1,500, you can charge $1,000, but it's, you have to kind of like break through that mental gap because that's probably a lot of money for you. And I know when somebody would pay me $1,000, I'm like, Oh my gosh, that's so much money. But you have to look at it from their perspective, right? Business owners don't see money the same way that we do as consumers because if they have this brick and mortar building, they had to take out these massive loans. They have all these expenses. You know, their rent for the location is many times what you charge. And they also understand that they are going to get sales from this. So they might spend $1,000 and spend money on advertising, but they're going to get five, 10 times that back right? And it's going to be a good ROI for them. But that was really difficult at first to kind of learn how to sell to them, to be confident saying, this is how much I charge, you know, even knowing that that's what everyone else was charging. And I honestly, I think if anybody gets into this, you know, Facebook ad management side hustle, I think that's the hardest thing to overcome is just being comfortable saying like, yes, I'm happy to provide this service for you. It's going to cost $1,200 per month. And then just sitting and being quiet, and not like ruining it by being a blabbermouth. Like that's a big thing in sales, right? Say your number and then just shut up and let them be the next one to speak. So my first thousand dollars online definitely came from my online fitness business. And you know, it was actually not a $1,000, you know, line item. It was a bunch of different people signing up for a program equaling a thousand dollars. But for the business that I currently do for this agency marketing business, the first thousand dollars I made online was actually my very first client paid me a thousand dollars per month and stayed with me for a really long time. And it's kind of funny. I very specifically remember it. I remember I was in a Facebook group and I was talking about Facebook ads and, you know, was answering some questions and in the comments and somebody reached out to me. They sent me a private message and was like, Hey, I've got a gym. I really want to use Facebook ads, but I don't want to do this myself. Can I help you? And I was like, sure, let's hop on a call. And so we hopped on, we, you know, a Skype call or something like that. And we talked and I found out about his business and what he was selling, what his prices were, what his demographics were, all that information. And he was like, cool, I want to do this. How much is it? I hadn't thought that far ahead. I was like, I don't know. And so I just said, 
$1,000 per month. And I just spit it out and it was a total random number. And the way I was looking at it at that point was just like, hey, if he hires me, I'm making $1,000. If he doesn't hire me, who cares? Cause I wasn't doing this thing yet. And he was like, sure, cool, when can we start? And it, that was that, we got off the call. I sent him a PayPal link and he paid me $1,000 on the spot and continued to send pay me $1,000 per month after that. And you know, what's really crazy about this is I remember making my first like day where I made $5,000 because uh, another one of my clients, we'd gotten really great results for him and he went and posted in this Facebook group and was like, I've been working with Mike for 48 hours and we've gotten all of these results and it's incredible. And if you're looking for this service, you really need to reach out to him. And he was over in the UK. And so I woke up, it's a six hour time difference. I woke up that morning like 6 a.m., it, you know, it was lunchtime for them. And I had all of these messages in my inbox. And so from 6 a.m. until about one, I went through and I talked to all these gym owners. I kept just doing call, call, call over and over. And at the end of the day, I had five new clients at $1,000 per a piece. I was suddenly making $5,000 a month in new business on top of the business that I already had. And man, that was just such an incredible feeling. And I remember both of those instances to this day. The really interesting thing about my marketing business is that just the very nature of Facebook ads themselves are so passive, right? This is a service-based business. You are delivering a service for other people. You're doing work for them, but really what it comes down to, you create this ad for them and it goes live and then you don't really do much. It's very hands off, right? Every day you show up, you check on the ad, you go, okay, cool. It's performing well. It's bringing in leads. They're making sales and then you don't touch it and you go away. And so you can really just spend a few minutes a day on it and then maybe a couple weeks later it stops working and then you create a new ad. And so I consider what I do very, very passive even though it's a service business. And that's one of the reasons that I've been able to scale it the way I have is because you can get so many clients, you can stack so many clients before it becomes a lot of work every day because you know, you really, what it comes down to, if you've got a handful of clients, one day you're working on one and then you might not work on one one day, and the next day you work on another, like it's, it's never that you're working on all of them all at the same time. So the great thing about this is that you're making money even when you're not working because you're providing a result for them. They're paying for a result. They're paying to get more customers and to make more sales inside of their local business and you're putting those people in front of them. So even if you don't have work to do for them, you're making money and that's pretty passive but you, it can really go to the next level. But I think what's really great with this is that I've always just been able to like take time off to travel, to go on vacation, to be with my family, whatever it was that I needed to do. In the early days when it was just me, I would just let a client know and be like, hey, my family and I, we're going to the beach for the next four or five days. These ads are on, they're going well, just check on them. And if one starts not performing well, then all you have to do is flick the switch, turn it off, and I'll take care of it as soon as I get back. And we rarely, you know, there was no problems or anything like that. But now now that I have a team, I have people helping me with service delivery, you know, multiple times a year, I'm taking off good 10 day, you know, 14 day stretches. You know, like last year, my wife and I went to France for 11 days and we traveled all over and we had wine, we had good food. I did not take, you know, have my phone. I didn't have internet. I was 100% unplugged and the income still kept coming in. And so this is a, a, a business that can be very, very passive even if you're just a solo shop, even if it's just you, but especially if you wanna grow it one day and have a team like I do, even if you only have one person, even if all you have is a single assistant or VA. Okay, if I was starting over today, I know exactly what I would tell myself. I'd be like, Mike, focus, don't get distracted. I know that you're really interested in all the different things, all the bells and whistles. It's easy to go, I wanna learn this, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. But I would just pick a strategy and I would go all in on it, right? And this is what I eventually did with my agency business is I was like, this is how I'm gonna make my money. I'm gonna grow this, this is gonna be my career. I'm leaving law practice behind. I'm gonna do this full time. I'm gonna build a team and I'm gonna change my family's life. And when I got that singular focus, everything changed and things grew and it has, it has completely changed my family's life. But it took me focusing and so it took me taking a course 
learning everything that person had to share, you know, with me, being an active member of that community, implementing like crazy, not being afraid to put myself out there and work for other people and to sell and say, hey, it costs $1,500 to work with me. And when I got that focus and got dialed in, everything grew at a rapid rate. But before that, I think I was like most people where I got distracted and I was like, what if I did this? What if I did this? Oh, that looks interesting. And I kept trying all these things and I didn't have focus. And you know, my because of that, my business grew pretty slowly at first or kind of plateaued. So just put that time in, have singular focus, know what you're gonna do. Don't try to figure it all out yourself. Ask other people for help, get educational resources, learn and implement. I truly believe that everyone should start an online business. You should have a side hustle of some sort. The opportunity is too great for you not to do this. And the reality is, is that not everybody will be an entrepreneur. Not everybody's cut out for that, but everybody has this opportunity and should give it a shot to see if they like it. Because the worst thing that can happen is that you try it out and you say, this isn't for me. I'm, I like my nine to five. I like going into work, coming home and seeing my family. But the best thing that can happen is that you do this and you start making incredible money and you get to buy your dream home and you get to pay off all of your debt and you get to, you know, go on dream vacations and you get to pay for your kids college and you get to do cool things with your family that you have time flexibility that you can spend more time with your family because your business does not require you to be somewhere else or to work when your family wants to hang out. So what's the worst that can happen? You try it out. You watch an hour less of Netflix every night. You try to make something for yourself. And if you decide it, it's not for you, cool, that's fine. Go binge watch shows. I love doing that. But maybe, just maybe, you'll be like so many people in this world that have created an online business and started making thousands of dollars a month, maybe you know, making six figures or even seven figures per year and just totally change the outlook of what life is gonna be like for themselves, for their families, possibly for even generations. So don't pass up this opportunity, at least give it a chance, and all you gotta do is start. All right, so there are so many things I love about this story. Obviously being a father myself, the fact that Mike could be a stay-at-home dad from day one, like that, that is huge. Like I don't wanna skirt over that because that is an amazing blessing. Sometimes it's a struggle when you got kids crying, all that fun stuff, but still, the fact that he can be there and be around his child from day one, like that's such a huge thing. The other part that I want you to focus on is whenever that customer asks Mike, like how much do you charge for your services? And he didn't really know what to say. His reasoning, his rationale was, well, I can just ask for this. The worst case scenario is that they will say no. If you don't ask for the order, you're never going to get it. So the fact that he was willing to go above and beyond his comfort zone and ask for that amount of money, and the fact the customer said, yes, I mean, heck yeah. You gotta ask for the order. Please take that away because if you're too afraid to ask, you're not going to get it. You gotta be willing to put yourself out there. And who cares if they say no? There are plenty of other people that are going to say yes. You just have to ask. All right, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Make 1K series. If you haven't yet, please subscribe because I got more people coming to the channel sharing their origin story of how they achieve success. So if you have any ambition of starting a business, especially an online business, you're going to meet some amazing people from all different walks of life, from all different backgrounds that are creating creating amazing content, amazing businesses that are not just only helping people, but they are giving their family and their own personal lives just some freedom that you really don't know what it's all about until you actually have it yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. Subscribe. Peace out. Later.